Hey guys, it is Tia from Work at Home Maiden and I'm back with another video. Today we're talking about work at home scams and how to avoid them. We're going to talk about common scams, how to identify if a work at home opportunity is a scam, and like I said, how to avoid being scammed while you're looking for a job um, working from home. So I'm going to go ahead right and hop right into it. If anybody pops into the Discord, I will address any questions they might have, but in the last few uh, events that I've done, nobody has shown up, or only a couple people have shown up, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to post this replay in the events tab of the Discord. Um, like always, the Discord link will be in the description box on YouTube, and you guys can also ask questions on YouTube. All right, so let us go ahead and hop right into it. Some common scams that I have come across and that a lot of people come across, um, and you guys may have also come across them, are scams like envelope stuffing and assembling things at home. I have never applied to these kinds of jobs, but they are popular like on Craigslist or um, like Facebook sometimes you'll see them ads for them and I've never like I said applied but the ones that I have checked out they always just give the feeling of it being scammy um, other ones are like pyramid schemes now some direct marketing companies are legit but there are a lot of them out there that are just you know disguising themselves as legitimate business opportunities. There are legitimate business opportunities out there, but the ones that I'm considering pyramid schemes are not legit at all. They'll, rec they'll recruit you, they'll get you to recruit other people, invest your own money, um, but the real profit ends up going to the people at the top, and they are illegal. So a good way to identify if a business opportunity that looks like a pyramid um, to to see if it's legit is to research it and see if it's legal if it starts popping up oh this is this this has been banned in certain states this has been banned here and there it's not legit do not touch it with a 10-foot pole um, other ones are online surveys and data entry um, when I work on Fiverr for people I send them work at home jobs. I get a lot of requests for data entry jobs, and there are some legitimate ones out there. Generally, they are not paying very much. A lot of time, they're going to be on like short task websites like MTurk and um, Clickworkers. There are like Xerox will sometimes hire data entry um, clerks and stuff. But a lot of time, it's not just data entry. It's you, you're a customer service person, and you're also, you know, doing accounts or you got, it's not your main job. It's just part of your job. And that's generally the ones that I run across. But people tend to want just data entry with nothing else. And those are very rare. There are some that are legit, but the ones that are not, um, they tend to give you overblown pay. Oh, you can make $100 an hour doing data entry. That's not a thing. Um, oh, you can make $2,000 in three days doing data entry. No, 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 you cannot. Um, for the survey ones, the claim to pay you for taking surveys, uh, but often these, these will be scammy. And the way you can tell that they are scams is they will not pay you as they promised and they will use your personal information to do fraudulent things. A lot of the time they want you to fill out offers, fill out more offers, and, and then more offers for a gift card that's some ridiculous amount like $500, $750, and they those kinds of survey sites are just there to collect your information potentially signs you up for stuff like um, spam and fish they, they're gonna start trying to fish 
if you start clicking on these spam emails, they're going to start trying to finish P H I S H for your personal information, like your social security number and stuff like that. So, um, just avoid those kinds of sites. There are definitely hundreds upon hundreds of legit survey sites, and we're going to go over how to avoid the bad ones um, soon. But we're going to go ahead and go to the next point here, mystery shopping scams. Now there are legit um, opportunities for all of these different categories, but these are some of the main ones that unscru unscrupulous companies will use to try and get your information or get money from you. Um, mystery shopping legitimately involves you going out to businesses or use like texting on the, not texting but like calling on the phone to like evaluate anonymously what is going on with these business businesses but scammers will generally ask you to pay them up front to do surveys to entry but also mystery shopping and those I've never seen a legitimate mystery shopping um opportunity that asked you to even before you access the website fully to pay up front now I have seen ones that will ask you to um, like buy a drink or buy a sandwich using your own money but then they reimburse you that later plus whatever they're paying you so that that's how many of them work but the ones that are scammy up front they want you to pay without even seeing you know the opportunities or knowing what the opportunities are um and they're not like really giving you any clear direction so watch out for those now there are so many fake job offers pop like popping up everywhere and a lot of the time they will use a real company's name to post ads and sometimes they'll get through on Indeed. They will definitely get through on Craigslist. Um, they'll sometimes pop up in ads on Facebook. So kind of watch out for that. Um, and a big thing about these is they'll ask you for upfront money. Um, and they'll, they'll ask you for your personal information and they'll say oh this money is for a background check um, there are companies that hire you as a contractor that consider you a business owner that will have you pay for your own background check but generally generally I, I like to just stay clear of these because the companies that are legit that ask you to pay for your own background check they tend to be so few and far between that there are more companies that just want to steal your money and your information. So definitely, like I said, look out for those. And there are a lot of investment scams. That's kind of a work at home, like side hustle type thing. Um, some of those schemes. They'll tell you you'll you'll be able to put in five bucks and come out with a hundred. Um, sometimes it'll be cryptocurrency based. You can buy this much crypto and next week it'll be this much more or whatever. Just be cautious, especially if somebody is reaching out to you and you didn't have any intention or you never reached out to them. Watch out for those because people can find your email online. Um, they can buy lists of emails and just send out their scam to people and just collect information and money from people who are unsuspecting so be careful with those um, those are a few of the main ones there are definitely a whole lot more but I kinda wanna keep this short so we're gonna move on to identifying how do you identify a scam um, sometimes it can be kind of hard because scammers can be get, they're getting really good at scamming people, especially when they're using AI and they're using, um, 
bits and pieces of information that you may have posted online. So some some of some one of the things that you can do to avoid being scammed is to protect your information online. Um, try not to put your email into any suspicious looking websites. Um, research the website before you start dealing with it because sometimes these websites will just sell their information and then you, you'll be subject to spam emails that look real and you might click on it thinking that it's a real work at home job type thing and then you might get roped into being scammed but a few of the things to watch out for, for are upfront fees um, an example of a company that legitimately is legit, <laughs> it legitimately is legit, but is legit, is Ami. It's a company that hires um, contractors to do customer service type things. They will ask you to pay for your own background check. And I have seen reviews of people on the server who have worked for Ami. They pay the fee and they get paid on time every pay period. So you really have to watch to see which ones are legit and which ones are not. Um, but anyway, upfront fees, generally these companies are ones you, you should avoid, especially if they're not giving you any real direction um, and you can't find them online anywhere. Just kind of avoid them because they they just want your money and your information a lot of the time. Um, if it's too good to be true and it feels like a scam, it probably is. <laughs> so avoid those. Oh, like I just said before. Oh, you're making a hundred dollars an hour. You know, you're making two thousand dollars every three days or five thousand dollars a week or whatever. Those are opportunities you need to avoid because who is gonna pay that? just you know off rip with no other information they're offering you two thousand dollars a week that's not realistic um so avoid the two good to be true ones lack lacking information is a big thing in scams they they're very vo like vague i'm having a hard time talking sorry they're very vague they don't give you a lot of information um, sometimes they'll send you emails that look like they copied and pasted something and it doesn't look completely right. Um, when, if, when you're looking at the information, if there are misspelled words, weird wording, um, improper grammar, and if they're reaching out to you and you don't remember ever connecting with this company, you don't remember, um, you know, join any websites that would allow companies to um, reach out to you, like Indeed will allow companies to do that, um, then kind of avoid those because, first of all, how do they get your information? And second of all, why is their stuff so, you know, unprofessional? So watch out for that. And if they're trying to pressure you to act quickly, oh, hurry up, this job is going to be gone, this job goes quickly, um, along with the other factors, you take all of, the thing, all of these things together, um, then avoid that. And like I was saying, to take them all, all these factors together, for an example, like I was talking about Omni. They are a legitimate company. They've been out for a long time, but their emails, they don't just sl like send you random emails. You have to contact them first. Their emails look are grammatically correct. They are professional. They're legit. Um, and you can find them online. They've got reviews on Glassdoor and Reddit. Um, and there are people that you can, well, maybe not contact, but you can find the reviews online and you know they're legit they just ask you to pay for your own stuff now if company x was like um you have to pay for your own background check and their emails are grammatically incorrect and um they're trying to get you to act fast and you can't find reviews online or you find poor reviews online um 
definitely avoid like the plague. All right, moving along. How to avoid scams. Now, I have given you guys a couple of things to consider, but we're going to go into all of these points just to make sure I didn't miss anything. Research, research, research. And if you think you've researched enough, research some more. So, um, you have to kind of use different modes of research too. Like for example, you can go to Reddit. This is the Reddit uh, work from home subreddit. And this is, I just typed in scam. And these people, there's a lot of people on this subreddit. So you might be able, be able to just type in, for example, Omni and see his scam. But I like Reddit because there's a lot of real people people on there, but you also have to be careful not to take one source and just use that one source. I recommend you using several different sources. For example, you can use Reddit and then go to um, Rat Race Rebellion, which is a company that's been around for a long time. I want this ad to go away. There we go. They have their... I'm going to put, like, put this video down in the description box below, but, um, Rat Race Rebellion has a lot of good information on there. You can go and research the opportunity on that website. You can go to Real Ways to Earn Money Online. This is also a Rat Race Rebellion, um, article that I can post down below so you guys can read it at your leisure. You can go to Real Ways to Earn Online. I have found a lot of my work at home jobs here for, my, for myself. I have found them here at Applied. My very first work at home job I found on this website. So I'm going to post this down in the description box below. This is also already in the Discord. But you can come over here, search in the search box for the company you're looking for and see if it pops up. Those two, Reddit, Google, Glassdoor. Um, Glassdoor is a good place to see if companies are legit. Um, I like, like Glassdoor is one of the companies that I use a lot. Okay, so I just looked up the, um, the Glassdoor page for Omni Interactions. There's close to 500 reviews and their, their score is 3.6. So that's, that's a pretty good score. Um, they've been around for, since 2016. So they're, they're established. That's another thing to look out for. Um, companies that are not established, they can they can go either way so i honestly recommend it like if you're applying to a new company just let somebody else be the guinea pig um wait a little bit and see what other people say about it before you put in your information to um to be a part of the company but this is another thing you can use to research reddit glassdoor um trustpilot.com or dot org i think um, Scam Advisor. I like Scam Advisor. You can use the BBB website, but there's some controversy over how certain companies might be able to pay for better ratings. So take the BBB website at um, face value, basically, but use more than one resource to research your work at home opportunity. Hmm. All right, moving on, check for a physical address. If you cannot pin down a physical address, or if it's, now, it's not always a company and different, like with a, an address in a different country, that's not always a red flag, but sometimes it can be, so look out for that. Like, look up the address on Google Maps, or whatever map situation you wanna use. Look it up, if you can't find the address, you know, you, 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 when you look at the 3D map, like the street view, if you cannot find 
um, the address there, or if you find like a restaurant or something there when it's supposed to be um, a communications company, that's a red flag. If they have no phone number, no point of contact, um, or if you look up the address they provided for you and it's not what it's supposed to be, red flag. Um, only pay upfront fees, for example, like for your background check with Omni, if you have found that this company is legit, but um, I like to just avoid companies that want me to pay for my own background check because that's just my personal preference. Trust your gut. If your gut is telling you it's a scam, then steer clear. Like, a lot of the time, um, companies will, scam companies will rip like logos and stuff, copy and paste them if it looks, if the copy, if you, if you can tell that it's legitimately a copy, copy and paste job, then avoid, um, like I said, gra gra grammatically incorrect stuff, unprofessionalism, just avoid that. Even if it's a legit company and they're being unprofessional even before they hire you, avoid, because that's a red flag. Uh, it might be a low quality company, like overall. Use trusted job search platforms. Even when you use legitimate job search platforms like Indeed or Monster, you still might run into scams. So you have to, you know, do your own due diligence to make sure that the companies that you are um, applying to are legit. I've already given you guys a few different places to go look. Like I said, Trustpot, Reddit.com, um, Rep Rice Rebellion, Scheme Advisor, BBB. Those are all take, you know, do m m a search on more than one platform get reviews from more than one platform so that you have a more solid footing to stand on when you're applying to jobs, even if you got it from a reputable site. Um, so that is, those are a few good things you can do, that if you do these things, there's a very, 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 very good chance that you will not get scammed. Um, but common we did common scams. We talked about how to identify scams, how to avoid them. Let me see. I'm looking at my notes real quick. Low quality sites with poor spelling. They don't have a presence online, but they're claiming to be popular or they're, they're claiming to be, um, they, they're claiming to have been around for a long time. When you are, even when you're looking at just regular emails in your mailbox, your email box, look at the email address. If the email address looks weird, avoid it. For example, Amazon.com. You may have seen phishing emails from Amazon.com fraudsters that are saying they're Amazon and they're not. If you're looking at the email, it says ed administrator at Amazon 223355006.com. That is most likely a phishing scam. Do not click any links. Um, report it to Amazon.com so that they can potentially shut it down. But a lot of the time, and you guys have probably noticed this, a lot of the time when you're looking at emails, and the email is not just, for example, Amazon.com. And it's got extra stuff in there. It's not legit. Because real companies, legit companies that are trying to hire you, they, for the most part, have locked down their domain, their website name, wherever they're hosting it. They're, they've locked that down on top of locking down um, websites, website names that are similar or adjacent to their website. Um, a lot of the time they have, sometimes they haven't, but a lot of the big ones do that so that nobody else can masquerade as them. But fosters will get website names that sound similar or look close enough that if you glance at it 
in an email, you might not notice that it's a scam. So look very closely at the emails just to make sure that um, the email addresses they're sending you these emails from are legit. And I hope that made some sense. I know that was a lot of words, but if it didn't make any sense, you can um, comment below in YouTube or you can comment in the scam likely tab or the scams and how to avoid them tab that I have here on the um, Discord. We discuss those things over here as well. I have posted some things in the Discord tab for scams as websites you can go look at to see if you, you know, can do some research there. And some people have identified scams and they posted them here. Um, so I do def definitely recommend that you guys join the Discord. It is free. And look in the scams and how to avoid them tab to see what you can find. As well as using the other things that I have mentioned previously. Um, you can also join other Discords, other work at home Discords that post legit jobs and um, go through their tabs, ask questions there. You can also use TikTok. T TikTok is a good place to go look for pretty much information on anything. Um, but again, you kind of have to watch more than one TikTok video. You can't just go watch one and say, oh, I know everything now. You have to go and watch multiple to get a bigger picture of whatever opportunity it is that you are researching. And I think that that is, I'm looking at my notes now, I believe that I have gotten all the things that I wanted to touch on. I have touched on all of them. Um, I think that's it. Nobody popped into my Discord events, probably because I didn't click and add everyone, but I should probably do that next time. Alright guys, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, join the Discord, and if you found that I have helped you, you guys can donate to my GoFundMe and my Cash App is right there, but it's not required. I thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.